What's up guys, welcome back to a brand new Keyforge video, and in today's video we got this display of Grim Reminders from our pledge rewards that we just got. So I was thinking it would be a great idea to open a couple of these decks up. So we'll see how many decks I really want to open. Um, I'm thinking probably two or three, and so yeah, without further ado, let's get into a couple of these decks. All right, so we here we have it, 12 Grim Reminders decks. So today, we're just going to pop out two and see what we get. And if we get anything interesting, we'll probably just stick with these two. So let me get these decks open. All right, guys, here we go with the first deck. We have Star Alliance, okay, Untamed, and Brobnar. So, I haven't seen Star Alliance yet, so that'll be pretty cool. Um, we got um, some pretty powerful houses. We'll see what it looks like. So, R.A. Tergerime? Tergerime? I don't know. <laughs> of the Filthy Pit. Funny name. Um, Alright, let's get this deck open. Alright, here we go. First deck of the display. Forgot about that. That's all right though. Amber Storm. <laughs> Amber Storm. I've started two decks like this so far. Which of the Spore? Ooh, which of the Eye with a discard and a draw? Interesting. Which of the Eye again? Warfarfaline. Warfaline. Uh, play after fight. Shuffle the top five cards of a discard pile into their owner's deck. That's pretty powerful. Spooky charge. Nice, nice. Let's go. I have not got one of these yet. So that's pretty cool. Flimph. Nice. Bog Spitter with two damage pips. That's pretty cool. Uh, that's one thing that I'm really excited for in the set is all the enhancements. Because there's a lot of cards, especially in Geistoid, that um, enhance other cards. So, after fight, discard a random card from a player's hand. Scrap if your opponent has six ember or more, steal one. Ooh. Blurning Hydra? Is that how you say that? Enhance, enhances three damage pips. And while this card is damaged, it gains splash attack X, where X is the amount of damage. That's pretty cool. Nice. Ritual of Life. Destroy a friendly creature. If you do, return a different creature from your discard pile to your hand. Interesting. We got Survey with the Capture. Strength from Diversity. Double. Quartermaster Body. Play after fight after reap. If you are haunted, capture two. It's a nice card. Especially Double. Nice. Pyro. With a damage fit. Modular exoskeleton. Essence entangler. Oh, and this will go really good. Or not this one. This one will go really good with my... Um, where is it? This guy. They seem like they'll go really well together. So we'll have to see how that goes. But that looks like... It may work. It may go together. Um, we'll have to see. Calm Officer. Palak Versatile. Nice. After fight, after re a friendly creature captures one. Double. Chief Engineer Walls. Staff Sergeant Raya. Thunderdale. Double. Soul Bomb. Ornal Skull Face. Fiery Jark, down to size, Brick Nasty, nice. Um, I've heard there's some sort of uh, combo that you could do with Brick Nasty and a couple other cards, new Bromnar cards, but I do not know what it is. The War Chest, Bone Crusher, ooh, Returning Champion, nice. After fight, if you are haunted, move all damage from this card to another creature. And we got Forge Master Og. Or Forge Master OG. However you want to look at it. 
Alrighty, so here we go with the deck list card. We got we got some enhancements in there. Um, we got some cool doubles. Uh, like I said, the um, Star Alliance upgrade on the Untamed creature looked to be um, one of the best things about this deck. Um, definitely got some creatures in there, so we'll have some board control, so that's good. Especially with the Pyro. Um, that's especially helpful. Um, there was not too many artifacts. There's Soul Bomb, though, uh, and a couple others. Um, this guy looks really cool. Um, he looks like he could be really good. Um, lots of good upgrades. Um, I really enjoy, like, Survey with the Capture Pip or Ritual of Life. That's, that's just, it looks like a really good card. Um, so yeah, we'll just have to see once we're able to finally scan these decks in, because I cannot wait for that, because then we can play with them, we can rank them, it'll be a lot of fun. So, we'll just have to see. So, without further ado, let's get into this second deck. Alrighty, guys. So, I don't want to spoil anything, but as I was opening it, it slipped a little bit, and I think I saw there might be a Revenant. So, um, but I didn't look at it, so I hopefully, I mean, I have no idea what the Revenants are, so we'll just have to see, but um, that's definitely kind of funny. Um, but here we go, we got Unfathomable, Geistoid, and Equidon. Um, some of my favorite houses from the set, actually. Um, the Glass Archaeologist. Nice. Looks like it could be a pretty decent deck with the things. And especially, especially if they're the Revenant. But, um, we'll just have to see. So, without further ado, I'm gonna get this deck open. Alright, here we go. We got started off. Okay, Wicolia. Or, um, Wicolia? I don't know. Uh, Keith costs plus two during your opponent's next turn. Trawler, if your opponent, if you if you are haunted, capture all your opponent's ember. Very useful card. Uh, Koriki Germinator, play after reap. Put a card from a player's discard pile on the bottom of their deck. Uh, Echoing Death Death No. Huh, interesting. Echo Guardian, fun card. Codis Hema. Circle speak, choose a creature, it captures to Ember from each haunted player. Beam of oh <laughs> we can see that revenant back there. So we did get a revenant. That'll be really fun. Uh so beam of forgetting. Reveal a random card from your opponent's hand. Put that card on the bottom of their deck. Wrath or ruin. Choose one. Destroy a flank creature or return two enemy creatures to their owner's hand. I really like the choose cards. Um, they're very helpful, and you can also, um, use them to your advantage in a lot of scenarios, because you have that choice of either, typically, it's either you're in this one situation, or you're in another situation, so that's especially helpful. Um, carry Guilt Spine, Dredge, for the remainder of the turn, each friendly creature gains, after a reap, Return a card from your discard pile to your top of your deck. Dragnet. Ooh, Persephone. Keys cost minus two. Ember. Destroyed. If Shady's in your discard pile, return it to your hand. So, it looks like we're gonna get Shady or, or something. Some card. Ooh, the Grim Reaper. So, the Grim Reaper was actually my second ever anomaly from worlds collide so that that's was, that's was pretty cool to get him so yeah so i'm curious what that uh shady is i i don't really know mehmet i've heard about mehmet play slash destroyed archive the cop top card of your deck or of your discard pile that could be really helpful especially if you got some good um action cards it could be really helpful junk restoration enhances Two d discard pips and play. Discard the top three cards of your deck. 
and you may put a card discarded this way into your hand. We got double of that. We haven't seen hardly any enhancements, so they gotta be coming up here soon. Haunted House, Hallowed Eve Festival. Discard the top five cards of your deck. For each Geistoid card discarded this way, a friendly creature captures one ember. That's pretty cool. Singing Scythe. While you are haunted, you may return Singing Scythe from your discard pile to your hand. This creature gains after reap. Uh, if you are haunted, purge a card from a discard pile. Wow. Uh, energy vampirism. Wow. Um, that artwork's kind of goofy. Curse tomb. I love curse tomb. I actually really like curse tomb. It's probably one of my favorite cards from the set. So here we go. So we got shadies. So this is the card that we were talking about before. And it is play, uh, or no, action. Play a creature from your discard pile. If that creature is a Persephone, destroy Shadies. That's pretty crazy. And we got Island of Misfit Toys. I have heard so much about this card. Return each Geistoid card from your discard pile to your hand. Purge Island of Misfit Toys. This is a crazy card. So here we go. So we got a Revenant, an Equidon Revenant. Let's see what it is. Ooh, Encounter Golem. Hazardous 3. After you play an action card, put that card on the bottom of your deck from your discard pile. Let me read that again. After you play an action card, put that card on the bottom of your deck from your discard pile. So, okay, so basically you're going to play it, and then it's going to be in your discard pile. Then, after you play and you do that action... Then you put that card on the bottom of your deck from your discard pile. So you take that from your discard pile and put that on your bottom of your deck. That's pretty That's pretty insane. That's pretty good. Um, definitely probably a cooler Revenant. Um, I'm not sure. You guys, uh, let me know. It, are Revenants kind of like anomalies where they can be in any house? Or how does that work? Um, let me know in the comments so that I know for future videos because that could be really cool to try and collect them all in one or in all the houses that would be pretty cool security detail a friendly creature and each of its neighbors captures one incarnation pod historian lidarkin gem coat vendor de-escalation double destroy each creature your opponent archives the top three cards of their deck Okay, Phobivore. This creature gains while you are haunted. This creature cannot be used. That's pretty crazy. Okay, we got this guy. Uh, play and after fight, take control of an enemy artifact. Give your opponent control of this card. Scrap, destroy a friendly artifact. If you do, destroy an enemy artifact. That's pretty wild. Bonded Auctioneer, and we got a Talent Scout. I love Talent Scout. Talent Scout's amazing. So, here we go. So, here is the card. We got, um, we got, it looks like a pretty good deck, actually. Um, I'm excited with, like, the Cursed Tomb, along with, like, some of the Unfathomable Control and stuff. Um... Persephone and the Shadies is really good. I'm excited for this deck. Uh, Island of Misfit Toys, especially Talent Scout. Like, there's just so much in this deck that's like, it just has potential. <laughs> so that's really cool. Um, we're gonna have to see what it all entails when we actually are able to play with it. So yeah, so that's gonna be it for this video. Um, I am very excited to get these decks sleeved and hopefully get some games in with them at some point. Um, it's very exciting. Uh, these Revenants are insane. I love the Revenants because it's like a new... It's like a new Maverick. It's like a new Anomaly. It's super cool. Like, this guy is sick. So, yeah. So, without further ado, that's the end of the video. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know down in the comments which deck was your favorite, although 
personally, I don't know that it's much competition with this Revenant. And so yeah, let me know if you guys want to see more Grim Reminders decks, or I still have a Menagerie deck, and I also have an Awakenings Edition Archon deck, if you wanted to see that too. So yeah, I hope you guys have a great day, and hope you enjoyed the video, and I'll see you guys in the next one.